only seven days left a whole week. That's also one part of the day. And we would actually still be fine. So, let's head on into the Hero's Hideaway. The rest of the parts should be in this structure. Once I find them all, I can escape this planet. Here we go. To which, I find it funny that Omar names this the Hero's Hideaway. When... Or because that just means he's calling himself the hero. It's like... Okay. At least he has good self-esteem. You know? And, I mean... We only found one ship part of the tutorial. But hey... I guess apparently Omar in the tutorial must have uh, just did better in terms of luck for where the ship parts landed. To be fair, I don't think Omar is retelling the story quite accurately since he never saw white or purple or ice or winged yet or rock. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Wait, where are you running off to? At least Moss doesn't run off. That's a good thing. Hey, well. This must have been the easiest part of the game. They just get to reuse this small, small snippet. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. And out of curiosity, anything behind the pillows over here? Uh, nope. Why did he get knocked off the moss? That was weird. I didn't hit a ceiling. I mean, alright. Where's the balloon? Oh, the big man. I like how he's complimenting their hiding spot. Hello. Oh, there's only one of you back there. I thought it was more than one. Alright then. Uh, I don't remember where all the Pikmin were hiding out of that. But it still doesn't show us how many are actually out. Which is kind of lame. I kind of wish it did. So I knew how many to go around picking out. But I mean, on the bright side... <laughs> we at least don't have, uh... We at least don't have a time limit right now. Like, we're perfectly fine to just take our time and search for the Pikmin. Get the ship parts and stuff or something. I would assume that we get... Probably closer to 100, right? I, how many did we find last time? Not a clue. Oh hey, the safe is already open. Now I'm going to talk about finding a clue in the, the log. Also, I like how because Omar couldn't jump on Moss, but we're still control even though we're still controlling Moss, uh, because of the ceiling, the Pikmin don't jump on Moss. However, that makes sense. Yeah, like, look at this man, though, lying in his log all the way over however far it was here. Can't believe he would lie to us like that. Oh, friends. Oh, wait, do they actually specifically... Yeah, they're specifically following Olimar. That's why they don't hop on moss. 
Because I guess technically when you're riding Moss, you're still all of mine. What? What? Did they already hop on? I and I just completely missed it. Cause I didn't see anyone come out of the grass. Okay. Sure. Wait. I wonder if that would have worked. I didn't think about that. Or using uh, was it the homesick signal? Which is, which I do like that it actually is a picture of the dolphin. That's neat. Okay, it does not work. Neither of them do. Thankfully, there's two blue pick. I, there's no way that there's only 79. I have to be missing one. That one gets to hide, I guess. Gosh darn it. Unless... No, it shows up on the map. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're right there. Any others on the map? Oh yeah, there's the ones all the way over here. There's the one that's over by the desk. I can't forget them. It's probably some yellow and red. Visitor We have weird numbers of yellow and red. Oh, they were yellow. And we still have a weird number of them. Alright then. 90 Pikmin. Oh yeah, I forgot I get you guys. So my guess is it's gonna get us to 100, right? Surely. I mean, there's two more up here, so yep. Exactly the case. I wanna ride it. Yeah, what a relief. I found all my Pikmin. Now I just gotta find my missing shit. Uh, my missing parts. Alright, we're back, boss. Hey, 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 hey. Come back here. I get it. It was a fun ride. What? <laughs> what was the point of that? <laughs> Why did they do that for? Okay. Oh, that's why it's a weird number of Pikmin. Cause, yeah, cause we have a hundred and you can't split a hundred into three parts very easily. Like, three equal parts. And, I got Just like that. So I think all our Pikmin are leaves now. Instead of flowers. Because of all of them running out. It's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this in my back, or with this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. And from calling for help, apparently, that guy just shows up. Huh? When that creature show up? Could it be the reason why the pigment and the onion are acting so weird? There's a ship part here, too. Wow, no kidding. Pikmin and I are able to transport this. You know, I'm just gonna leave them on that, though. What's that creature doing to them? Actually, you know what? I have a plan. You, buddy. Uh, have a bomb. I miss. Now I can give you a bomb. I miss. I'm not very really good at using bombs. I don't use them enough. Nope, come back, come back. Come back before they get to go and eat you. We just need to knock off the gold pieces. Start beating up their back. Like so. Why does that sound like a jewel shatter? It's like in your back. Oh yeah, they are also like gems. So you're covering gems with gold, basically. And I am 
struggling to get you guys to actually get on that spot. There we go. Uh, they should die before they fully eat those items. Yep. They didn't actually die, but I'll take it. The cutscene saved me. That or that spot breaking gives them like an extra boost in damage taken. Thank goodness the Pikmin and the Onion seem to be back to normal. Well, now it's time to transport that precious interstellar radio. But first, go get him, Pikmin. Bring all the things. Now they're gonna just do it automatically. Just because we walked over here. Yeah, destroy them all. Heck, these weird cool thingies. The, your weird intense, or your like weird innate desire to just destroy them. There goes Pikmin. I forgot that I already threw Pikmin on it. That's where we're missing 10. I should throw 20 on it, honestly. Why'd you guys stop? That was weird. By the way, there they go. Actually, I'm a little bit confused. Where are they going? Good. We're parked up there. I guess we can go knock down these boxes now. Apparently, we're parked over here now. I don't know when that happened. I guess it happened. Oh, that's a... Unfortunate. Who died? Did you yellow and two red? What? Did I hear Pikmin cry? Nah, it, it was just the wind. There's no Pikmin dying right in front of your face or anything all the while. Just the wind. Nothing else. Oh yeah, how do we use that whistle? Right. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. I have no idea how. But anyways, I just want to point out that... The can still have big and pick up stuff. Uh, my thing was... Nice. I love that they just do this. But anyways, um... I was gonna say... But it doesn't pick up stuff because I've tried using that before and it just didn't. But I guess it worked this time. I would have to have an extra red than anything else. But yeah, no, I, I thought that lineup was just kind of sucked. And I was very disappointed because, I mean, I like the line so I have nothing against it. But, okay, Windows. I'm not using OneDrive. So, like, no thanks. Stop reminding me. To go get OneDrive for no reason. Oh, stop doing all that. I mean, you can bring back these. And we 100% do not need blues, considering just like the reason why we need the ice here, just by getting the ice onion, there is absolutely zero water to have any use, really. Go have fun there. Oh, come on. We're struggling to catch up. Well, it'd be nice if we could have, like, kept the, uh... Oh, hi. When'd you get there? Stop that. Rude. How dare you. 
stop my pick from comparing back to these vital materials. Uh, maybe we'll rule the lost by Odin. Speak up, though. Honestly, we really do get to keep them. Then it's pretty vital. Oh, Moss does start picking that up or something. Get all the prep work here is done. It's very weird that the Pikmin do just instantly decide, or not instantly, but like decide that they're going to attack the gold things. Like just get you to go attack them. I guess that's the whole stick of uh, of that guy, huh? We still don't have fire immunity, but I guess we have red Pikmin for a reason. White gate now open? Does it mean the fan? I think it means the fans. I what? Where are you? Oh, they got frozen! Oh, I didn't notice that two big ones got frozen. And let me guess, those two idiots? Yep, they're two idiots that did not come with me when I whistled to tell them to come with me. So, uh, no rewinding for them. If they chose to do that, they chose to do it. It's not my fault. No, it takes forever to whistle a pigpin off of something. This is Captain Olimar. I'm currently stranded on an unknown planet in the far reaches of space. Please send help as fast as you can. I can only hope this distress signal reaches the rescue corps. And what? There are actually no. I guess we could go do this. It's probably gonna be the last day of this, so we might as well just finish it out. Six parts in one day with who knows how many onions. Yeah, we should be able to do it. We got enough prep work done in this area, because I think all of it's on this side, and we don't have caves or anything to mess with, so... Shouldn't take too long. I know it's not really necessary, but go walk over there. We're gonna take 40 of you, 30 of you, and 30 of you. A quick turnaround's great. Anyways, like I was told, whistle twice, and you'll uh, you'll have Pikmin automatically stop their task. How come that never actually works that way? Just saying, it never really does work in that fashion. It's usually whistle about five times, and then they'll actually stop doing their task because it's not the amount it's just uh did you ever learn how to attack while swimming <clears throat> excuse me the answer was no <laughs> and it also shows us what fan that we need here and that's not working. Well, uh, you don't have electricity immunity either. So yeah, I guess I guess, I guess you just wait. I can't see a way that we can do anything else then. Uh, you know what? If you're gonna be like that, you're gonna be this way. Get the heck out of here. Make sure no one picks it up. Get it. Pick it up. Oh, they failed. But I will say, the line of whistle does seem a little bit less useful in this game. Due to, like... Okay, well, apparently you can't have them grab stuff that's already been fully 
maxed out, okay. Or not fully maxed out, but you know. Like the bare minimum to carry. Where's the two pick in? Yeah, I figured you two fell down when I was trying to use the line of pistol. But then there's also, like, that. Pikmin automatically just uh, crowd closer together now for situations where they would fall off a slope like that. So, like, it seems less necessary to do such a thing, like, to have the lineup whistle. But, oh well. Hey, jump, please. Thank you. I think I must have hit like a tiny little bump and it prevented me from doing that. So it's a white gate is now open. What white gate was it talking about? I don't know. By the way, let's go have 20 yellows go get material and do that. Meanwhile, we'll span everybody else over here. Go have the uh, blue pigment fight this. Oh, wait, there's a shit part. He says, while well, right next to the shit part. But over there, I guess. Oh. Goodbye. And I think there was an electric gate this way, so I probably shouldn't have used the yellow in particular. Probably should have used the red, but too late now. Can't, can't change my mind anymore. We'll just go explore this play mound over here. I guess. Um, anything that would... No, I think Moss can be able to go over there and we can have Olimar. First off, how much do we need to carry this? Five. Yeah, I think we could just have Olimar come back. For that then. Let's walk over here so we don't just have annoying split where the Pikmin are. Okay, so this man. Everyone except Moss. Moss can walk over here. And then we can have Olimar just go back to the gate. And Moss pick up Ultimate. Alright, good. Why are we missing 10? Oh yeah, the blue pick and carrying that. Oh, the electric gate's already demolished. Perfect. Oh, I just got here. Nope, please stop looking at that thing. Which I need one of you, thank you. I need one of you to go grab this. Is there treasure over there? There is. That's gonna be a, an issue. All Mark can just... Actually, no, I can have all my, uh, wait here and call back the blues while we swap the moss and do all the stuff over here. That works. And I'm pretty sure we should not harm our pigment, which it does not. Fan is now on. Oh, hi! Okay, that's why there's breakables here. That is why there's breakables here. Does this actually affect you? Kinda? How about this? Yes, one more. Please stop that. Get him, get him! Get him up, Red! Okay, that doesn't work when their gun's still out.
run, run for your life, big bit. Stop trying to attack the thing that's shooting you with a giant gun. Or do, I guess, apparently. Keep throwing victim on it. Keep throwing victim on it. We're gonna kill it first. It's not gonna kill it first. We have the other hand. We have the upper hand. It has one health. Kill it, please. Somebody. Got it. It has literally one health. 30 Pikmin? Alright, good enough. Where's this take us? Oh, back up. Oh, under the plate specifically, okay. Uh... So the ship part over there... There's this ship part, there's that ship part. Actually, I guess there's a good way to see if we have enough pigment to fall in water. How many do we need for that? Ten? Exactly 10, we're good. Hop on we go. Oh, that's the slide that we were seeing. Okay, on the map. I can't think of what we were seeing. And I'm going to take this, thank you very much. Oh, we had to run! I did not know. What did they hit that? What did they do? Go swing. Swing like a dummy. And since this is the last of what we uh, need, the last ship part, we might as well just use an ultra spicy spray so they carry it back quicker. And sure, why not? We'll just have boss gather pigment. As Almar goes on the fun slide. Hi guys. So what did we lose? We lost 13 blue and 13 yellow. Nice numbers. At least, like at least it's even. It's an even split. Anyone we don't have a hundred of still? Nope, we have a lot. Of Wait, what have we gained so many yellow? It's been that giant dude. We must have gave a lot of yellow, because it's the only thing we brought back with yellow. Then we also gained red. I mean, I think the Pikmin that show up in the portion that's like the tutorial, I'm pretty sure those Pikmin are also added to your total. They're still missing some Pikmin, where are they? Wait. What's happening up there? Hello? Can... Why? Hang on a second. Oh, okay. That's what happened. There's a surprise attacker. Oh, the surprise attacker is dead now. Just in case, you never know. Do a zigzag so we can get there about the same time. Actually, let's go look at Almar on his fun slide. Hey, Almar, why are you trying to hide still? I can't use the drone while he's on the slide, that's great. Dang, look at him though. Actually, does like a, a pose as he slides down. Crazy. Apparently he must have learned how to skateboard when he was young. I don't know how old Almar is. 
Hedge with Mendez when he was a kid. I've done it. I've done it. The SS Dolphin is fully repaired. Finally, I'll be able to escape this planet. The time has come to head home. I'm going back to Hokate, back to my family. Notice Moss isn't there now. It's just Pikmin. Only Pikmin. To which, how do you not notice when someone stows away onto your ship while you're on the ship? Because it makes a Woo 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 noise and shakes a lot because the SS Dolphin is not very stable. Granted, I guess because of that it also always oh, shakes anyway. The takeoff was a success, but as I exited the planet's atmosphere, I realized that Moss had snuck onto the ship and she was clearly suffering. I rushed to turn the ship around and tried to land. But at that very moment, my life support system failed. Hey, I recognize this location. All Marsha Wizak wasn't here before. Now he's a leafling. At least he doesn't have to get plunked out of the ground. You know? That would make being a leafling even worse. With that, we got all the things, and Moss never did learn how to do things in the water. Which is interesting to think about. I also didn't really need to use moss to carry stuff all that much. Probably because they never actually got the helpful 100 carry weight super buff until it was no longer helpful. <laughs> For whatever reason. That was very unfortunate timing. And for some reason, from recalling that tail, his ship is repaired. I don't know how that works. So that story of how I was pulled back to this planet, and how I lost my life support systems and woke up as a leafling. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to the entire harrowing tale. Thanks to you, I've been able to remember so much. When I first became a leafling, I remember seeing a very interesting looking cave. It must be around here somewhere. I wonder if this is the cave he was talking about. While Almar was recounting his adventures, I spotted the entrance to a cave right here. For whatever reason, our radar never picked up on it. That must be why we didn't know it existed until now. Oh, what could be inside? I'm pretty sure it just didn't exist until now. I've had the strangest dreams lately. There's this white le leafling standing in front of the cave or that cave saying, Come and become a, my apprentice, you shall be rewarded. What happens if we hit him in the tail? Ah, we can re look at the final results. High score. Fewest losses, best time. Fewest losses. That's not. Oh, okay. So it's me and then friends, I would assume. Or something? I guess so. 
too bad I'm not friends with my own self to see if I did better or not. Well, uh, I guess I'll do it for this episode of... Oh man, we didn't get to keep the material, which is a shame. I guess I'll do it for this episode of uh, Pikmin 4. So, bye bye